Hi again guys, we are going to do another reaction video because there's actually part 2 that just released about the things that you forgot about old Rainbow Six Siege and you seem to love my reaction so let's do the second part. The one that made this video was the Gazebo Meister, I will leave a link to him down below and as always guys, please subscribe to the channel and also like this video if you want to see more content like this and let's get into the video. Okay, let's start and see what the second part has. I'm really excited to see how uh, many of the new things that he missed last time because I can think of uh, a couple of things that I experienced, but uh, let's uh, start remember watching. When smoke's gas could clip through walls? Here's even more things you might not remember about old Siege. Capital used to have a scope on his LMG. This site was honestly yeah. super underrated and is one of the cleanest I know and this best one. looking scopes we've had. <laughs> It's still in the game, I but only miss for it. DMRs, and it's now a 3.5 zoom instead of 3. Thermiting the classroom wall on Old Oregon so you could get both the wall and the hatch in one go. Yeah, I did that, I did that as well. Laundry. It was such a super Honestly, cool trick. Honestly, once this hatch was open, the attackers won the round. The Twitch Prime Alpha Packs. This was a cool idea, even though everyone got the same thing and everything in the packs were mediocre at best. Yeah. But they should bring these back in some way with better cosmetics. Jaeger used to have 31 in a mag instead of 26. Even after they took his ACOG, his primary was still really good and he still had a very high pick rate. Sometimes when you would... Yeah, when it comes to the Jaeger in general, guys, I think Jaeger has become one of the more underrated operators in the game right now because his gun is super good, barely and in recoil, and his gadgetry is also really, really well. Like, we should definitely use him more. Like his, I feel like he's better than one my. Obviously, one my has a cog now, but uh, yeah, that's what I think. Think at least you would do any action like placing a claymore. You would just randomly teleport. No clue what caused this. <laughs> Zofia's AR was one of the best in the game. No recoil, good mag size, and solid yeah. ADS speed. Not only was her AR really good, but she was a two speed, so you could get around the map quicker. It's kind of crazy how good she used to be. She her was so good. Really her and the Ella was the so impacts. she so could self revive picked. and was a two speed. Ella and Sophia used to be more resistant to each other's concussions. They would recover twice as fast compared to any other operator. The reason for this is something to do with the lore that the Polish sisters have been hit by this effect so many times they've become yeah. more resistant to it. Legion's goo mines used to do ten damage when you would step in yep. one, as well as eight damage per tick. They were also cloaked, so stepping in one nasty. was a lock. All the Russian ops were forced to use the Russian sites. Yep. They had the Russian Hated reflex, at. red dot, hollow, and ACOG. They are still in the game, of course, but now anyone can use them. Back when Siege launched, yeah. they had no anti-cheat at all. And believe it or not, they actually yeah. do have one now. Although who knows if it's turned on. I know I've showed- I'm not even joking. When they did not have that security blanket in the beginning of Siege, it was chaos with cheaters. It was even worse than it was now. People are complaining about how much we are facing cheater right now. It was even worse. Obviously, the difference today between then is because, like, back in the day, they were not hiding that they were cheating. They were totally, uh, like, uh, placed a teleporter from across the map. They could shoot across the map. It was horrendous, in fact. You could never win... Uh, the game, but I feel like cheating today is a little bit more like restrained in a way that kind of don't want to show it as much. Do we like just cheat and go on with it? Um, so I feel like the cheating uh, hopefully is going to get better, right? Right? Showed off that you can break Lion's drone, but what I forgot to show was after breaking the drone, trying to activate it would actually crash the server. The shadow figure glitch. No clue what caused this one to happen, but it was pretty funny. <laughs> Your operator would just kind of glide while T posing around the map and you were just a shadow figure. Even after you croaked Siege your body would be stuck like that. The bird box Pass. glitch. Prepare your eyes for this one because there's going to be a lot of flickering. For whatever reason, shooting at a soft wall with a ton of ammo would cause your screen to bug out and you literally couldn't see anything. Yep. Defenders could just change a setting to fix it, but for whatever reason attackers couldn't. So obviously this was super broken and ranked. The Invincible Monty yeah. Glitch. 
If you threw a drone and dropped your shield at the it's same the same time, with the, um, the blitz Turn as well. Magic with oh, come on, come on, come on! Come on. Wall art with all another one. Sorry, had to sneak that one in. But yeah, this was another game-breaking glitch. Getting under the map downstairs on old Hereford. Yeah, Lakes. this one. I, this I did not like doing this. Impossible. The only way this but, was counted uh, was when your head was sticking slightly out of the ground. It was kind of funny. Jaeger shield head before, which was crazy, but there was a point when any op with a deployable shield could do it. Defending third floor on favela when you played secure area. Yeah. Shout out to geeking from my Discord for sending me the clip. But this was insanely chaotic because any wall could be opened with thermite, or if a teammate didn't reinforce, since there wasn't a reinforcement pool yet. Sitting. Like playing favela, guys. I'm not even joking. Before the rework, it like upstairs was guaranteed for the defenders to win because like you could put Ella uh, charge on the door you could put Capcan that you had frost there was like literally one or two ways you could get in it was the stairs or the double door that was it otherwise you could get shot from the back from outside but you couldn't like really get in unless you force a way in so usually would actually like take a mountain or maybe use capital to put uh, the fire so that I could not push in like it was a mess it was chaos playing in favela but it was fun as well sitting in that little closet on chalet with Amira this was a nice little spot to defend since the only way in through the back was Ooh, I the remember this one. Oh my god. Door. You had to make sure the closet wall stayed closed though. It was you used so to need to hit ago. enemies in the head with Echo's Yokai drone in order for it to work. And it most certainly did, since it made your screen all wobbly and you were basically stumbling around blind. Mute's jammer used to have a very bright red outline when you were going to put down a mute jammer. Yeah, it also I remember covered much that. More of an area. I think it was three reinforcements. When you were dilly-dallying, not picking an operator, it would just auto-pick recruit for you every time, on both attacking yep. and defending. When Does Sophia's withstand was well. taken out shortly after that one moment in Pro League, this yeah. had the whole siege community divided, getting stuck in the infinite hatch drop. Not sure if this was the servers, <laughs> or just the game itself being buggy. No way, you, you can do interrogation on that! just infinitely fall and teleport back up. Kind of like when you're playing Portal. Climbing up on this rock on Old Chalet would just send you falling out of the map. Once you hopped oh over, that God. was all she wrote for you, because you just hit a barrier that would cause you to croak. Doka B I have call never Echo. done that. Since Echo used the little gadget on his wrist to control cameras, he wouldn't get a call. Now he has a random phone he pulls out. Sometimes when you would thermite a wall, it just wouldn't fully open. I'm not sure if this still happens, because personally I haven't seen this in a while. Yeah, it has happened. Cool. Yeah. Another random glitch that I'm not sure what even caused it was the weird spectating glitch. Like in this clip, I was spectating my friend, and he vaults a window and teleports across the map. Being able to knife someone through a mirror window. If they got too close, you could melee through it. Defenders used to randomly fuse together with a reinforcement. Oh, it remember like a reinforcement this one? Oh my god, this was hilarious. No clue what caused Me and my friends laughed funny. so for hard reason, that they glitch. The sound of the SMG-12 for a little bit. This is what it sounded like. Yeah, I remember well, that. Jesus. Compared to what it sounded like originally and now currently. Mute used to be a two speed, but he didn't have the SMG 11. His jammers were definitely a lot stronger, too. They covered yeah. way more of a radius. I think up to three walls. It, the old operator logos. Like, Mute back in the day, guys, was an alternative to uh, band, uh, band tricking. And you actually could use mute to trick the wall. It wouldn't like necessarily work the best though because it took longer time to put it down. But you could definitely do that. And like the range was covering the entire uh, reinforcement uh, wall as well, uh, which is divided more to a half uh, area right now. But definitely was so freaking strong mute in general like when he got his smg later on then he had the main weapon even the shotgun at the time was also really really strong but uh yeah during operation chimera i kind of like these better since they have more color and are a bit more vibrant getting under the map on yacht i personally never did this one but it seemed like it was really easy to do all you needed to do was prone into the ice and you'd fall under the map both sides couldn't shoot each other, so it was just for fun. The Chimera theme and menu. 
Oh. I definitely miss oh. this, and I think Ubisoft should let you customize what theme you want. My favorite season by far, double. guys. Chimera, best season by far in my book. Best season. You got Lion, you got Finca coming in. Lion was broken. Then you had the game mode where you actually went around and shot. It was like another set of a game that you could play. And it was so much fun playing that. They need to bring it back. Ubisoft, if you're listening, bring that back. Pretty please. I'm dying to get that one back. Well, the size in the alpha. Still not big enough to fit gridlock through it, though. They would need to be the size of the entire map. When oh, Alibi yeah, and was... Maestro first came out, their shotgun was buckshot instead of slugs. This was obviously before Azami, but it would have been interesting to see how she would have played with it. I'm not 100% sure about this one, but I think you used to be able to hear enemy callouts, like someone saying reloading, or Smoke saying babes in position. This it... is the only clip I could find of hearing the enemies but it's just them reinforcing. Me hello fresh blir varje middag mer prisvärd. Du slipper springa till mataffären. There was a window next to the reading door that would give you a crazy angle all the way into mining and train. And this was great because it was the most popular secure area. Yeah, and you had Blackbeard that pistol used to have could handle any bullets. Cavs old pistol was actually insanely strong especially when they changed the recoil on all the pistols. She would dominate the lower rank lobbies. That little connector between... Yeah, guys. Am I the only one who wants this? But maybe make her gun a little bit stronger because the way that we try to down people actually sometimes takes way too long. I'm not sure if I'm tripping, but if this is supposed to be her specialty, maybe make it a little bit strong a little bit more not what it was back then no 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 i don't want that back but just a little bit because kind of die easily you know dining and main lobby that everyone would fill with barbed wire and traps there was almost always a frost mat there if you mm. stood in this specific spot on favela next to this plant you would just die the exhibition side of skyscraper was very small and condensed Mm -hmm. Dragon also wasn't a thing. It was just a wall that led to outside. The yep. mini bar was moved up a little more, and in the actual exhibition room, if you broke the glass, an alarm would go off. How good the M1014 was. This thing would put people <laughs> down so fast, and was actually viable on a lot of maps, because it was so condensed, like in the Goat Macy J's clip I'm showing here. It was ridiculous <laughs> on plane. I mentioned mm -hmm. in a previous video about this little connector on Old Chalet and how it was always filled with traps. Mm -hmm. But I forgot to mention how people would always hide in the bushes on each side. Relying on your teammates to reinforce on Old Favela football apartment site, otherwise the attackers could just spray through the wall at headshot yep. level and get a free pick. On That's Old the worst site ever. There was no balcony connecting break room and east stairs. The only way out of the break room was impacting and dropping down if you couldn't push yeah. through CCTV. During the alpha, there were hit markers, and I'm not talking about when you kill someone, I mean when you actually hit someone. Instead of bar being all one bomb site, it was stocks and bar, so yeah. you could just plant right at the stocks. It was so easy to, to go and plant in stock. It was... There was honestly no reason to ever choose this site, unless you were just messing around. Back yeah. when hostage was in ranked, you'd just pile all the traps, shields, and barbed wire around the hostage. It was yeah. an easy way to win rounds and rank up back in the day. <laughs> How dark old theme park was. Vigil and Cav were crazy on this map. You could basically hide in any corner because the lighting was so bad, especially on yeah. the night version. It was honestly like playing a horror game on attack. Ella's shoddy was one of the best shoddies on defense. If you swung anyone even from a slight distance, you were putting them right in a dirt coffin. On Old Oregon, when you played secure, you could contest the basement site from the stairs. So it was either a standoff until someone peeked, or if you had a teammate up, they'd go in flank since you had unlimited time. In the closed alpha, shield ops could aim with their shield up. This would have been outrageous if they launched like this. Oh yes, I'm so glad. That, to be able to. I'm so glad that they they did not keep that during the alpha phase, because it was, for me, it was really OP when they introduced the shield and you could aim like that. Uh, so I was kind of hesitant to shield in the beginning. I'm still not liking the shield rework as it is right now. They need to fix it a little bit more in my opinion. But yeah, it, it mm, no. <laughs> Shoot through the little grates that were on the bomb chassis. Oh yeah, I did that as well. 
it was so freaking bad you could get so many easily kills and like this guy put a shield next to it uh in other cases they it would be a shield but there would be like a frost mat uh, a lesion as well a little bit further ahead so you would get the sound cue and then you could just uh, shoot at the same time it was yeah it was pretty darn good in my opinion i had so much fun doing it like in this clip if you paired it with a shield it led to some crazy peaks on old house you could climb up on the shed outside and look right into master window yep this was great because people weren't really aware of things like this when the game first came out, so you could really take advantage of it. Some of Hibana's pellets sometimes just wouldn't go off. Yep. As seen in the Goat Anthony Pitts Hibana so video, so many this times. This was right after Operation Health. You only needed one Hibana pellet to break hatches. This was great because you could hot drop the hatch while taking minimal damage. Yep. Doing this with all five attackers was so. It that change, guys, actually came. I, I wouldn't dare saying it because uh, he might say it, I'm not sure, but it kind of changed the, the Pro League season a little bit because people would actually hot drop in that. Uh, and yeah, it, it was a mess. So much fun. Sledge used to be a two speed and he had the SMG 11. I don't really understand yeah. why Sledge got nerfed so much. He was probably one of the most balanced operators of old Siege. He's still great now, but he was for sure better before. Getting in between the floors on bank. If you crawled <laughs> under a certain part of the desk in main lobby, you would end up in between the floors, and you could shoot anyone that went into lockers. Spawn peeking with Tachanka's turret was crazy because you were almost <laughs> invincible since you were covered by the shield and windowsill. The Ella mine in the drone hole on old skyscraper. Of course I learned this yeah, trick from I did the that, Mason well. Jay, but you would throw a mine in the drone hole wait for it to pop and hop out the prepped window for a free pick. A double down on secure area. This can still happen, but only in casual, so I'm talking about the intense ranked moment. When you would trade with someone on the secure site, and you would try and slow your bleed out faster than the other guy. This was super intense if it was the final round of a ranked match. There used to be two hatches in meeting on Old Oregon. The hatch yep. that's no longer there dropped into the hallway, but was also really good for- That hatch, guys! N Gotta say, that hatch, I'm so freaking glad that that hatch doesn't exist anymore, because it was bad. It was really bad. You had a really good controller, especially like uh, the nades in the game as well. You could just chuck a nade through the hallway and you would get a free, free kill. If you did it at a perfect time, free kill. Or if you had Jing, just toss that baby right down, drop the hatch and you would get a free kill. It was really horrendous to have that hatch opened but for cutting people off imagine how different current oregon would be played if they had a hatch in the basement hallway i've talked about how you could take people out in the prep phase with twitch's drone yeah but i didn't mention that it couldn't jump all it took was a deployable shield in a doorway to stop it from getting into sight the void edge theme that's all that needs to be said oh no jeez Oh my god. No, GT, no. On the test server, no. they let <laughs> oh my god. jump up the rooftop hatches. It would be really interesting if they ever added this in. Believe it or not, Jackal mains used to exist. They are super rare nowadays since he's banned in about 80% of the ranked games that are played. Yeah. But back before pick and ban, you would see a Jackal in almost every match. When Tachanka got his re. I, I gotta say, I understand why Jackal is banned. But guys, he's actually not that strong. Because if you get scanned, you kind of know where you have been to. If you just, for example, let's say um, Clubhouse. You go and like hold cash and server. You go down the red stairs. You go through the garage and up to Rafter. For example. And you get Jackal scanned. What did you think that it would be somewhere along the way where you actually went? Would it that actually help? Okay, maybe the, the site is not like the best, but you get what I mean. Like, if you get Jackal scan, just retrace where you actually went. And it's kind of easy to take a, uh, pick a fight with him, basically. I have done this so many times and it has worked. Well, most of the time, I'm not the greatest, uh, like, uh, person to kill people, but, yeah, 
I I'm not afraid of him. It's more blitz in my opinion. That's more scary. Rework. They were originally going to give him the Zofia withstand. But I don't even think this made it to the test server. Ying's Candelas used to go off as soon as you threw them. Basically, they worked opposite of how they do now. But you could toss all of them into a room and blind everyone all at once. The basement on Old Canal used to look way different. Instead of Ying... Mm. Okay, I did not like Canal, the old Canal at all. The yellow basement was... Uh, there was just a wall and a doorway that I hate the yellow outside. stairs and Only like was boats. Only one way down for the defenders. No little downstairs uh. part with the ladders either. And of course, the lighting looked different too. That peak where you would look out from second floor laundry on Old Hereford that would give you an angle all the way down on the people in the trench. I and know that one. I did that so Yeager many times. Was. The mute protocol event glitch. This glitch pretty much sucked all the fun out of this game mode, which was honestly pretty sad that people were doing this in a limited time event. To explain the mute protocol glitch a little bit more for the people who don't know about it, I know. Basically, wherever your drone went, that's where you went, and for whatever reason, when you threw your drone under the map, when your drone finally broke, you would be invisible and invincible. This pretty much ruined the event, which is sad because it was actually fun. On coastline, yeah. you used to be able to hop up Purple on the tops and look into Purple hookah tops. right from spawn. Let's go! <laughs> I think you can still get here with an OSA shield, but I'm not 100% sure. I love sure. that. But obviously, this method was way easier. Speak Guys, by the way, if you did not know, you can actually still go into the purple tarps in the game. Just uh, watch a famous YouTuber called uh, Coconut Raw. He actually posted something uh, not too long ago, but people still not using it. A good tip. Speaking of coastline, instead of a wall going into VIP, it was a window. So it was a great spot to cut defenders off running back to site. Shout yeah. out to Kacha for getting me this clip. But it used to be three maps instead of five for the pick and ban phase. So sometimes you would play the same map multiple times in a row, like in this clip. Head glitching this little rooftop on old skyscraper lets you see the balcony yeah, on the other side. Yeah, I remember this was that a great one spot as well. To hop out for defenders. The old holographic site used to look different. It was smaller, and the reticle was a little bit brighter. Here's a side by side comparison of the current one versus yeah. the old one. The vibes of nighttime favela. This map may not have played well. But it was one of my favorite night maps to play on, just to see the fireworks and hear all the sounds in the yeah. background. But shout out to Verge Poland from my Discord for getting me this clip. The suppressor used to have damage drop off, no matter what weapon yeah, it was equipped to. Yeah, I know. Except that was for horrible. Cav's pistol, of course. Suppressors weren't nearly as viable as they are now. This is a little nitpicky, but I miss being able to revive your teammates after the round ended. I don't know if this was supposed <laughs> to be in the game or not. But in the reveal trailer, the defenders could move the hostage around the map. I think this would have been a cool idea if they had this feature. But only after the attackers grabbed them. How difficult old knifing used to be. I've talked about it before a bit. Yeah. But I never mentioned how you needed to be in someone's back pocket to actually knife them. Like that Ash sold, because she tried to knife me in this clip. They disabled the mute protocol to fix the invisible and invincible glitch. And when they added it back in, there was still another glitch where you could yeah. get in the ceiling. Unfortunately, this just ruined the game mode altogether. The it's alibi go, always prism going spot to be people that stupid. If you threw a prisma out through the roof right in this spot, the prisma would activate in a spot where no attackers could get to it. So the attackers would constantly see enemy detected outside, making it much easier to run out. Jaeger's ADS used to have multiple charges per gadget, but when you burnt through all of them, that was the end of that ADS. But if you had them stacked, the attackers had to burn so much utility to get through. Jackal had flashes when he first came out. So not only yeah, was it did. annoying getting tracked, but having three flashes fly in the room and being full blind while he knows exactly where you are was the worst. In the reveal trailer, they showed off how you could breach any part of the floor and it would open up like it was a hatch. Could you imagine how crazy this would be if you could just open up the entire floor Ooh. like you could... Guys, imagine if they released an operator that could actually do that. It would, like, that in itself would be so freaking cool if they could do that. But I kind of think it would be killing off Sledge, Buck, maybe Ram. I think this would be getting a little bit over the top, but still, it would be cool if they, if they made an operator that could do that. Oh, that would be so good. Just for fun, okay? But in the Grand Larceny game mode... This isn't really that old, but Vigil had a 1.5 for a very small mm. amount of time. 
The only gameplay of this is from Coconut Bra, but this would have been crazy if it made it. On Old Oregon, you could hide inside these piled up desks and yes, chairs. Yes, I did hide there! I did this was that so many times! It was Her so much was fun! Still crazy and it was so easy to see out of. The old somersault glitch or movement. Not really sure what to call this one. It was pretty funny though. You had to keep switching prone positions, where your legs go in front of you and behind you. There used to be a hatch in the upstairs hallway on bank. Yep. This made defense on open area even more difficult since this hatch cut off so many different spots for defenders to sit or move around. The old Oregon attic had a whole different layout. Instead mm, of extending yeah. out, it was closed off with two walls, but it had a ladder that went into meeting. Also, the window that was just a small rectangle. I don't miss perfect that. Perfect for Blackbeard. But there was no window you could hop into. Monty used to have three smokes, and this was when the smokes used to look different too. But the smoke and plant used to go crazy with all these smokes. There was a glitch on old clubhouse where you could rappel backwards up into an AC unit on the roof, and it would push you down onto that part of the catwalk you're not supposed to get onto. That spot on yacht where you could hide inside the pipes in the sub room. Yeah, I remember that the one actually. Was really bad, so it was nearly impossible to see someone in here unless you already knew about the spot. You could destroy Hibana's pellets through a mirror window, stopping her from breaking it if you were fast enough. And this was before yeah. you could crack the mirror window. When switching through cameras, the broken ones would still be there, and they would just be that TV snow effect. The change to yeah. cameras. I actually think they should bring that back because it's kind of hard to remember all the cameras that you have, which is not there anymore, you know? So it would be good to like have that back in in general because as a defender uh, it would help a lot because your teammates can actually call out to say well the camera in uh, 90 and uh, in bakery is uh, is broken like especially for those that are not playing in higher uh, tier in general in ranked and stuff uh, for newer players for example this would actually help them in a way and would actually have to call out in general so i i kind of want it back though this was honestly a great one servers on old canal wasn't as tucked away as it is now there was only one hallway in the front and green stairs didn't exist yet mm. it was just an outside balcony. you actually had to peek it through uh, the, the server Attackers like the wires and stuff see right in there used to be no reverse friendly fire so if you team killed twice you would just automatically get kicked as seen in the goat tio's video this can still happen, but only if you kill multiple teammates with an explosive. Tachanka's old operator video when you'd unlock him. Mm. Since he got reworked, it's no longer in the game, which is kind of sad since he still uses his LMG even though it's yeah. not mounted. The Madhouse event. This was one of the first events that Siege had, and it was fun for spooky season. It was just a game of casual on house with a spooky theme and dark lighting. They also yeah, put out some really cool that. skins for this event. The old mannequins on Clubhouse. They actually looked like people, and were a nice little spot to hide behind as a defender, especially with the old lighting. On Old Oregon, it was actually viable to flank Dorm's window from small towers. Yeah, I remember defender, that! Since the window How did was I a forget? different spot, and the runout time was still a generous two seconds. You used to need to wait for Cav's silent step to fully recharge to use it again, which was around eight seconds. Not too bad, but only having to wait half of that now is much better. I've talked about Glaz's gun before, but I never mentioned how he only had 11 rounds in a mag. He yeah. also could only use the Russian sights and he couldn't use a grip, although he didn't really need one. Ace's Selma charge used to have three charges instead of two, which yeah, allowed attackers I to remember walk right that. in only using one Selma if it was placed in the right spot, rather than needing to vault or crouch your way in. Vi they, guys, they changed that because it was making it too easy for attackers to just rush in. Plus, the Selma charge from Aces, when it rolled down, it actually went a lot faster than it does now. It's way slower, so it actually made it really viable that they just cut it out from uh, 3 to 2, and they increased the duration because they wanted to give Bandit more uh, leniency to Bandit Trick. You can't still fully Bandit Trick all of the Selma charges depending on how fast the attacker is throwing his gadget but you can simply do a band trick uh, one full wall and he would only be able to open up the first one if you su succeed in band tricking uh, I usually throw a C4 out if I know they open up because they usually are going to be 
closer when the sea is open. So that's your window to like toss a C4 if you know where people usually stand outside though. But uh, yeah, th that's my tip at least. Vigil's old ability. This is a pretty recent change, but this guy keeps asking for me to mention this on every video. So this is for you, ghost guy. Vigil used to completely cloak him from drones, but any yeah. action would take him out of his ability. Now he's more similar to Nock. Smoke used to have impacts, which were another great thing to help him counter shields after he lost his nitro cell. When the map ban used to be three maps instead of five, no matter yep. what, it would always be the map to the left that was picked. So basically you could straight up pick the map you wanted, but this led to only like four to five maps being played all the time. <laughs> there was a weird glitch on secure area if the enemy was basically almost done securing the site, but the defenders killed everyone. It would still give the win to attackers. This was tragic, especially after an all-time clutch. I don't think I have there was only one color for all the seen optics, that before? which was red, except for the reflex site, which was the only site that was green. I've talked about the gridlock-sized hatches before, but I didn't show how shoddies couldn't open up hatches. You needed to use a C4, and it would only open up half of it, and this was also before impact grenades were a thing. I missed Operation that part. Operation Shifting Tides was the first season to not have the iconic five notes played in the intro, since both Kali and Wamai are members of Nighthaven and not Rainbow. These are the five notes I'm talking about. <laughs> Being able to reload cancel. This was crazy because you would wait for the reload sound cue and swing someone only for yeah. them to be aimed right at your head since they canceled their reload. Before Cade was a thing, the way to stop people from opening the hatch on Old Oregon was yeah, by was putting a mute jammer on the table in laundry. So here's the thing when I talked earlier about the mute jammers, that it actually was really high up, the, the mute jammers. This is a prime example. You usually put it on that laundry table, then you would put one on the laundry uh, machine, and that would actually mute and cancel almost everything in general. It was so freaking nasty, and it was so widely used in Pro League as well. You could also do this for the other hatch in the hallway if you climbed up on these boxes. Yeah. Keeping these hatches closed was crucial. Those bars on the vault window and bank that would sometimes prevent you from shooting whoever was behind them. Yeah. On Clubhouse, you could just vault up onto the other part of the catwalk. Doing this with Vigil was crazy yeah, since not many I did people that. knew you could do this. Tactical realism. This was a custom game feature that was sadly removed, I guess because it wasn't popular enough. But in tactical realism, you had very limited HUD. You couldn't tell the difference between your teammate and enemy, since there were no names or icons above their head. If you reloaded with 15 bullets left in a mag, you'd lose those extra 15 bullets. No objective was marked and you didn't see points for doing anything, and also no kill hit markers. Yeah. This is something I'd really like to see return. The Money Heist mm -hmm. event. It was oh. just hostage on bank, <laughs> but it had some really cool yeah. cosmetics. And the theme for this event was all time goaded. I think this was also yeah, one of Siege's first big crossovers that wasn't Ubisoft related. There was a glitch on Old Oregon, where if you planted next to the washer by main stairs, defenders couldn't disable the diffuser. This was really random and didn't always happen, but was annoying when it did. Hey everyone, this is actually uh, me speaking, and I just want to say thank you for not only making it all the way to the end of this video, but thank you for all the support on my previous video. Uh, that was just honestly meant for all my TikTok followers that wanted to pinch all my videos, but <laughs> ended up blowing up, so that was pretty cool. I also wanted to thank Aww. Jinxie for not only reviving Siege, but for reacting to my last video too and shouting me out. That was actually really cool of him to do. Yo, subscribe to that guy. Gazebo mm. Meister. My boy, you made a banger. I'm, I'm not even gonna lie. This was a very, this was one of my favorite videos I've ever reacted to. This might have been my favorite video I've ever reacted to. Uh, so Jinxie, if you're watching, thank you. And uh, <laughs> if you're going around some Siege, just let me know. Uh, they even have this thing on PC called Operation Throwback, where you can play old seasons of Siege. So if you want to do that, that'd be cool too. All right, to wrap things up here, I just want to say thanks again, everyone, for watching this video and my previous one. And I'm going to keep trying to find stuff about old Siege, upload daily on TikTok and YouTube Shorts, and uh, I'll let Bateman close this one out. Let's see what else Paul Allen remembers about old Siege. But, yeah, guys. <laughs> yeah, like, a really, really cool video. Like, really, like, Siege has changed so much. 
some of the stuff that he brought up, there's still a lot of more changes that he has not brought up as well. It's always fun to revisit a game that is this old as it is today. I'm still amazed that we have come so far with this game. Nine years in the making, still popular game. It's got a new fresh, fresh wind into the game again. Uh, like I said, Jinxie was one of the big part of it, of course. But uh, yeah, I'm super excited to see where the game is going. By the way, guys, do check out the Gazebo Meister. He made this video. Shout out to him. Thank you for sharing old Rainbow Six Siege legendary clips and everything. I really appreciate that as well. Uh, but guys, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to this channel. And I will see you on the next video. Bye.